Okay, everyone, I want to talk a little bit about farming, farming today. Um, I grew up on a farm out in Nebraska uh, and farmed for 10 years of my adult life. So I'm kind of familiar with the farm. And just to put it in perspective, um, the corn prices are pretty close to what they were over 20 years ago. We used to grow edible beans, dried edible beans, great northern beans. Uh, we were hoping to get 20 bucks a bushel or 20 bucks a hundred. They're $21 a hundred right now. So what, you, what the farmers are doing right now, they're losing money. They're losing money in a big, big, big way. I see that there's a couple big farms that have gone bankrupt, one in Minnesota and one in Michigan, and we're talking about $150, $200 million bankruptcies. So these big farmers, like when I was farming, you had a few thousand acres, you were a pretty big farmer. Now these guys are at 40 or 50,000 acres. And when you have 40 or 50,000 acres and you lose dollar, you lose money on every bushel of corn or every bushel of soybeans you raise, you've lost some serious money. And, you know, and, it, and I see this as uh, just a black hole for these farmers. How in the world do you get out of this stuff? It, 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 not to mention the fact that this equipment, oh my gosh, I watched the YouTube videos, the John Deere tractors, the big field cultivators, uh, the combines, all of this equipment, the GPSs, you know, where you, you don't even steer the tractor anymore, the, the tractor just guides itself. I mean, it's, inc it's incredible and it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And the farming community's got to be about at the break because I think they've had four or five bad years where it's the farms, you haven't made uh, back your, your expenses. And what I see right now going on in farming, and this is a big part of our economy, believe me, the whole Midwest corn farming, Soybeans farming, that's unbelievable. And what I see going on is that you have in Trump a president that doesn't even mention it, say anything about it, or even it's even on. I mean, I listened to him tonight and they were talking about how great the stock market is. The stock market isn't the commodity market, the Chicago Board of Trade. It's not, it's diff two different things. And when they start talking about stocks going up and whatever going up, you know, you're talking about Steve Mnuchin and Wall Street and you know, the mega bankers, you're not talking about the uh, family farm or these big farms that are about ready to go bankrupt or are going bankrupt. And I think what Trump's solution for these big farmers is we're going to give you a better tax bill or a better, you know, better, um, we're going to give you a lower tax rate or something like that. Um, and, 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 but the thing he's failing to realize that these farmers don't need a tax break. They they already have plenty of tax breaks. It's called expenses. You know, it's called paying depreciation and interest. And, um, you know, not paying depreciation, but depreciating these massive pieces of equipment that they have. I mean, this is all tax write-offs. It's all deductible stuff. They don't look for that. Farmers never have problems um, paying taxes, mainly because it's so expensive to farm that you don't need tax write-offs or tax deductions. And at the same time, he wants to slash um, the uh, the subsidies. I mean, I was, I was looking tonight, they were slashing, they're slashing uh, the corn, uh, the uh, crop insurance program, they're slashing uh, crop farm subsidies, they're, flash, they're slashing all this stuff. And this is the one thing farmers don't want to talk about, and they won't tell you, is a lot of farm revenue comes from the farm programs. The programs, you know, started off way back in the 80s with the PIC program. You know, these are a lot of farm, farm incomes. And when you slash those, and then you start messing with these NAFTA agreements and world trade and alienate other countries from buying farm, uh, farm products or commodities from our country, you got a big problem, man. You know, boys and girls, this is, this is, this is big, big, big time stuff. Uh, you take, you know, uh, most of the farming economy and you bankrupt it and you see where our economy is at and you see where it's going. And a few Wall Street brokers making a big bunch of money or a few, uh, um, you know, a few people on Wall Street making money isn't going to float the boat. So anyway, Trump is, I think, letting the farmers down by not talking about it, but not dealing with it. And really by just, I don't even, I've never even heard him talk about it. I mean, I'm watching YouTube all the time. And I watch a lot of farm videos and, um, you know, I know they're struggling, man. I just know because of the prices and I know what it's like and I see this equipment they're buying. No fucking way these farmers are making money. There's just no fucking way, you know, unless they're doing something else besides growing corn and soybeans.
And uh, I think that's the majority of the product, majority of the crop coming out of the Midwest, corn and soybeans. And that's not good. It's not good at all. I don't even think uh, cattle prices are very good. So anyway, it all sucks. And uh, if it keeps sucking much longer, we're all going to suffer for it. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.